Hello, I'm Captain America, and today we're making... Hey everyone! Materials for this prop include cardboard, cardstock, duct tape, aluminum tape, about 14 staple boxes, a travel size tube of toothpaste, super glue, a rubber furniture pad, red paint, scissors, an X Acto blade, and a pen or pencil. First, cut a piece of cardboard to fit once around your wrist and about 5 inches long. You may need to use your own judgment for the length, as your wrist may be larger or smaller than mine. Roll up the cardboard to give it a curve and cover the outside of the piece in aluminum tape. Place a strip of Velcro on the outside edge of the cardboard. Be sure it's on the side running the length of your forearm, not the sides wrapping around your wrist. Cut a staple box lengthwise on both sides so you have two halves. Place the two halves together to create a narrow box. Duct tape the two pieces together, though I'm sure scotch tape would work as well. Repeat for a second staple box. Line up the two boxes end to end and duct tape them together. Measure them to the length of your wrist pieces and cut the box to the same length. Wrap the box in aluminum tape, leaving the ends open. Use an X-Acto blade and scissors to cut a three-sided door into the box. Remember to exercise caution when using an X-Acto blade. Cover the inside of the door in aluminum tape. Repeat the process six more times for a total of seven boxes. As an alternative to the staple boxes, you can cut this design out of cardstock, fold it together, and tape it up. While the staple boxes were the more costly alternative, they were also the quicker one. Empty the toothpaste bottle, cut off the top, and rinse it out. Cut both sides of the tube. Place it on the end of a box and remove the cap. Attach the tube to the box with aluminum tape. Cover the rest of the tube with aluminum tape. Place one box at the end of the wrist piece and duct tape it in place by taping the bottom to the box around the wrist piece on both sides. This is why we left the ends open. Be sure you're working on the opposite side from the Velcro. Place and tape the second and third boxes. Cut a strip of cardboard about a foot long and three quarters of an inch thick. Cover the piece in aluminum tape. Tape it down next to the first three canisters with one end sticking off to the side. Cover the piece in aluminum tape. Place the nozzle piece on the wrist piece. Be sure the nozzle is on the same side as the outlying strip of cardboard. Tape the back end of the nozzle piece in place around the wrist piece. Use duct tape to attach the nozzle piece on the sides. You may need to carefully lift up the box next to it to get the duct tape underneath. Cover the duct tape in aluminum tape. Attach the final three boxes after the nozzle piece. Use small pieces of aluminum tape to cover each end of all the boxes. On the opposite side from the first piece of Velcro, and on the inside of the wrist piece, place a second strip of Velcro. Place the web shooter on your wrist and measure where the cardboard strip falls on your palm. Mark and cut the piece so it stays in the center of your palm. Draw a 1 inch diameter circle and cut it out. Wrap the circle in aluminum tape and super glue it to the cardboard strip. Paint a rubber furniture pad red and place it in the center of the circle. Cover the interiors of as many of the boxes as you want with aluminum tape. Finally, cut out a 2 inch wide length of cardstock and roll it up. Wrap the piece in aluminum tape. This is your web filament cartridge. Load it into the central canister, and there's your finished web shooter. Thank you for joining us for the Prop Master's Handbook, and be sure to see my new movie. Although really, now it's more of my movie. But we all know you're coming to see me.